Why is it so hard to forgive ourselves for mistakes we made in the past? Things that we did that we're not proud of that happened a year ago, two years ago, 10 years ago. Why do they just keep coming up popping in our heads and every time that memory pops up all the emotion comes back and we replay the again the event all over again and and we just get so down on ourselves again it's just a horrible experience and then when it finally goes away a week later it pops in our head again and the same cycle just keeps repeating why does this keep happening and why can't we just forgive ourselves why is it so hard that's what we're going to talk about in today's video and the first thing i want to say is so you don't think i'm just some internet guy trying to make money off AdSense revenue by trying to tell you how to fix your problems. This is one I know all about, okay? For 15 plus years, I had a real problem with alcohol that I couldn't get a handle on. Um, I drank on a daily, a daily basis um, and I did a lot of things and I'm not proud of. I hurt some of the people I love the most in this life very deeply. I did some things to some people that I never really got to resolve and sadly those people aren't here anymore and I'll never get to resolve it with them. Just some, some bad stuff. So I know what it feels like to, to just have memories that you wish you didn't have of situations where you wish you behaved differently. So in this video we're going to talk about some of the things I've pondered on and done to get to a place where I'm able to say, I've forgiven myself for this stuff, okay? And one of the first things you have to realize is that forgiveness is illogical. Forgiveness is illogical. And one of the things we try to do when we're trying to forgive ourselves is we approach it from a logical point of view. That is what is happening when we keep bringing these, these, these memories back up because they're unresolved. And so some part of us, like our subconscious mind, is like, oh, if I keep bringing this up enough, we'll be able to logically resolve it. But forgiveness is not logical. If you think about uh, someone who forgives you, some of the people that I did some of that really bad stuff to, you know, uh, uh, forgave me. But there was nothing, it wasn't a logical decision on their part. It actually was a loving decision. They decided to be the bigger person and forgive me. There, there's not enough sorries I could say. There's not enough crying I could do. There's not enough diamond rings I could buy when I just totally broke someone's heart in a horrible fashion for them to forgive me. But when I've been forgiven, when any of us have been forgiven, it didn't come from logic, it came from love. So if we're trying to use logic to forgive ourselves, it's never gonna work. It's never gonna work. You cannot beat yourself up enough to, to earn forgiveness. There's not enough penance you can pay. You can keep bringing a memory up from now until 2055 and beat yourself up every time and feel pain every time. You're never gonna be able to logically resolve that situation and forgive yourself. Forgiveness is not logical. So we have to keep that in mind. Also one thing to keep in mind real quick too is that your brain doesn't understand tenses. So if you keep saying, I can't forgive myself for this, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So one of the first things we want to do is stop saying, oh, why can't I forgive myself for this? Because if you say, I can't forgive myself for this, you're thinking like past and present. Your subconscious mind is thinking future. So every time you say, I can't forgive myself for this, why can't I forgive myself for this? Your brain is going to be like, oh, this is something we're not going to forgive ourselves for. Okay. I'll just keep bringing it up. We'll keep beating ourselves up. So that's something to remember too. We got to change that verbiage because there's no way we're ever going to be able to kick ourselves and punch ourselves enough to forgive ourselves. Something else to ponder. These things we did were in the past. We were a different person then. We have grown since then. I don't care who you are. We all grow over time. And a lot of us, since we made those mistakes or took those actions, have really grown. You cannot beat yourself up now for something past you did. It's just like all of us when we were growing up, we were kids, did all kinds of stupid stuff because we're growing and we laugh at it now. A lot of us were like so awkward and weird and just all this stuff when we were, when we were young. 
and we laugh at it now. We may not like to be reminded of it all the time. We laugh at it. Oh man, you should have seen me in middle school. Boy, I was, ooh, you know? Same with like things we might have done even though we were an adult. It's weird that once we hit like 21 or whatever, we think we know everything. You don't. You're growing. Even if it was something that happened last year, you've grown since then. If you were the same person you are now, back then, you probably would not have behaved in that way. Because if you were still the same person, you would not feel any guilt over it, probably. But the fact that you feel guilt, the fact that you're ashamed, shows that you have grown. Shows that you're not that person anymore. You cannot keep beating yourself up for things you did in the past when you were a different person, when you hadn't grown as much. If you were put in that same situation now, you'd behave totally differently. Not to mention, a lot of the things we go through in the past, we have to go through to realize not to do them. You realize like the reason you know now that that was bad and that you shouldn't have done that is because you did it and realized how big of an a-hole it made you feel, how dirty it made you feel, how bad it made you feel. If you hadn't gone through that, you might not know that now. You can't beat yourself up for going through tests and trials and challenges in life, even if we feel like we failed those tests. The failure still teaches us. So one thing we need to realize is that that was a different you. You've learned from that. You can move on now. Now, some practical steps on how to forgive yourself. So this is great, Tim. You're talking about all these reasons why, you know, we shouldn't keep holding on to it. How do I let go of it? Here's a technique I have used. Does it really work for me? Like I said, all this stuff is stuff that I've used. It has really helped me. That's why I'm trying to pass it on. The best way to forgive yourself, I found, is to sit with the emotion, sit with the thought, sit with the memory when it comes, talk it through and just let it go. Example, when something pops up in my mind and I'm like, ah, I wish I hadn't done that. I stop, I recognize that that memory has come up, that that thought has come up, and that the emotions are rapidly coming behind it. A lot of times in life, we got so many thoughts coming and going. Um, and in the course of, of, of 60 seconds, a bad emotion can, you know, can come up, a bad thought, a bad memory, um, and we can just beat ourselves up rapidly and never even realize we did it. But then we're suddenly stressed out and we have a bad, you know, we have a bad day. So stop. When you feel that thing coming up that you're ashamed about, you're guilty about, that you want to forgive yourself about, stop. Take a breath. I take a breath. I... And I say, I realize that once again, the memory of XYZ has come up. It is a memory I'm not proud of. It is something that I wish I hadn't done. Every time this memory comes up, I relive all the emotion. I feel the guilt, the pain, all that over, all over again. But I have decided from this moment on that I am going to forgive myself for that. I know I'm not worthy of forgiveness. There's nothing I can do to ever make myself worthy of forgiveness. But I am going to forgive myself for that because I cannot beat myself up for the rest of my life. Now, this won't get rid of it that one time. This is something you have to continually do. Every time this thought, this memory pops up, you gotta stop, you gotta sit with it. And it can, you can go deep. You wanna get as deep as possible and break down you know, the, all the emotion and everything behind it. But at the end of whatever you say to yourself, you can say it out loud, you can say it to yourself, you wanna say, but I have decided to forgive myself for that, or I have forgiven myself for that. Even if at the, when you first start doing this, you haven't forgiven yourself, I have forgiven myself for that. And I'm gonna let it go. Because honestly, there's nothing else you can do. Here's the thing, you're, 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 the part of you I like to say your subconscious that brings that up is getting something out of it. It's just like as someone at work who's like always wants to be in your face and always causing drama. When you, when you go back at them, they keep getting in your face and causing drama because the reason they're coming at you is because they want that, that, that back and forth. The same is true with like emotions that come up within us. There's something we're getting out of it. There's a reason it keeps coming up. And even though it seems crazy that that those bad feelings and those down feelings and uh, 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 all that comes out of it is what we're, is, is what we're getting out of it. And even though it hurts us, 
there's a part of us that wants us to feel that. It's always weird. It's weird. But once you like surrender and let go of all of it, you're not giving yourself that. Okay? If every time it pops up, that thought, that emotion, whatever it is, and there might be several different things we got to work on at the same time. And you start saying, I've forgiven myself for that. I don't need to dwell on it. Then you're not giving yourself whatever it's looking for when you bring that emotion up, if that makes any sense. And eventually the time will come when your subconscious, whatever part of it, whatever part of you it is that keeps bringing that up, will be like, well, I don't need to bring that up. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah, every time I bring that up, it just they just let it go. Not to mention, just like how you kept saying, oh, I can't forgive myself was a self-fulfilling prophecy. If we say I've forgiven myself, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Eventually you're like, oh yeah, I forgave myself for that. And I have seen this happen. There have been things that I just had to keep doing that I'm not gonna dwell on it. I will let go of it. I forgive myself for that. And over time, and a lot of times I didn't even realize it, like as soon as the, the memory popped up, right behind it, I would almost subconsciously say, ah, we've forgiven ourselves for that. We don't need to dwell on that. And it got to a point where a lot of the things that used to, used to really bother me and really get me down. Now I can tell these stories. And if y'all follow the channel, y'all know, I tell these stories and I talk about them. And, and even though I, I still feel bad from a sense that like there were things I wish I didn't do, there's not that extreme shame, that guilt, all of that anymore. I've let that go. I let that go. That was the old me. This is the new me. And one of the things also real quick that really helped is if there might have been a behavior like addiction or something like that that led to you behaving in the way you did if there was a habit that led to you behaving in that way if you can start working on that habit or you can let go of that habit then it makes it a lot easier to forgive ourselves because you can look at that and be like that definitely was the old me i can't keep beating myself up for things i did when i was drunk when i was high you know, when I was caught in the throes of anger. Can't keep beating myself up for that. I've obviously changed my behavior. That was the old me. This is the new me. I've forgiven myself for that. And I'm going to let it go. And if you can consistently tell yourself that, the day will come. You may even notice it. It's not like you're going to like wave a flag and be like, forgiven! The day will come when you're just like, oh. Don't have those same emotions. Don't have those same feelings with it. But you gotta, you gotta focus on, and not in the manner of just beating yourself up, but you gotta focus, get down deep in there and talk to yourself about what is going on when these memories come up. And then just decide that even if I don't feel like I'm worthy of it, I am going to forgive myself because that's the only thing I can do. Hope these thoughts were helpful. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on this issue. Um, like I said, this is something all of us struggle with. You know, some of us maybe a little more than others, um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this issue in the comment box below. Also, you can hit me up on social media. Um, may take me a couple days sometimes, but I try to get back with each and every person who reaches out to me. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.